Today we're going to talk about lifter cleaning and we have a set of Jessel lifters and they're very expensive and it's uh, very important to clean them after you run them. Actually these are new and we're going to clean them uh, also and the process we're going to use is some solvent and then we're going to ultrasonic oil. So we have two tanks here. One has ultrasonic in it and I'll show you what it looks like when we turn that on. This has got brand new solvent in it. Okay. I'm just going to set it um, for 10 minutes. I'm going to leave the lid off here. We're going to go ahead and put some lifters in here. Now, you know, these uh, the lifters here are jesseled. And we have a, a special fixture that we actually put the lifter in. So when we pull them out of the engine, we have, you know, cylinder one, um, two, It's three there. Anyway. Jessel. High quality. Very expensive. And we want to make sure we keep them running clean so now that we have it in our fixture we're going to take our fixture and we're going to set it down in the tank and you notice that we have the roller lifters that actually go down inside the solvent and we're going to clean just the roller ends we also have a basket that if you wanted to clean the whole lifter in to start with you can actually do that we'll set the basket right here in front and maybe you can see that so we're going to clean these for 10 minutes and then we're going to pull them out and then we're going to move them over to this tray here and set them down in there and then inspect the lifters and once we're satisfied that the lifter is good and clean and there's no uh, flat spots on it or burrs or whatever there may be dirt in it we're going to go from there into our oil tank let me go ahead and show you what that looks like when we run it now this is engine oil it's uh, 60 weight um, racing oil for like a blown alcohol hemming and we actually can actually cavitate the oil so what I know after we get them clean we're going to actually put them in engine oil and cavitate the oil into the lifter and that's going to make the, the, the lifter cleaner even yet with the oil as a petroleum product and, and get it ready to go back into the engine 60 degrees Okay, now that we're finished uh, with the ultrasonic part, we're going to pull them out and set them in our inspection tray. <clears throat> and now here's where we would actually check them. You know, these are brand new lifters, and I'm sure there's nothing wrong with them, but you can feel them, make sure they wiggle right, and get, make sure there's not a lot of bearing clearance. Now, now that we have that all sorted out, we can now go into our oil. So we're going to go into the oil bath, which is here. And we're going to turn that back on and we're going to do that for another 10 minutes. Okay, now once we're done with the ultrasonic oil bath, we're going to bring these right out into our oil storage tray, basically. And we actually set these down in here, leave them in the oil. Now the oil can just continuously soak in there. The, the lifter's hot. We have a little cover here. Now we can have them ready to go. 